I love Two Slimy Bangs Facebook page. Well, not the page itself. Not what he posts, I mean. All he posts are vanity pictures and cringe. What I love about his Facebook page are the commenters. You look like you got left alone with a two-year-old with a marker. The one word that describes me. Murderer. Where's Bay at? In prison waiting for you. If you don't put in the same effort as your spouse, nothing will work. Looks like you put all the effort in pulling the trigger and killing your gay lover. Shortly after midnight on May 17, 2020, police responded to a 911 call claiming that a man had been shot. Upon responding to that call, police found the victim, Terrence Brown, in the front yard of his residence, unresponsive with multiple gunshot wounds. Three of Terrence's friends were at the residence. And while they were at Terrence's house at the time of the shooting, they did not witness the shooting itself, nor did they see the shooter. Here is one friend's story. I was at Terrence's house at around midnight. Terrence mentioned that someone was coming to the house to take pictures of him so that he could launch his own makeup line. Terrence said he'd be right back and went outside. But shortly after he went outside, I heard gunshots. I dropped to the floor. After about seven gunshots, I heard a car speed away. The other two friends' stories matched that of the first. One friend spoke to Terrence shortly after the shooting, asking him who had shot the gun. Terrence fell unresponsive before he was able to answer. While none of these witnesses could provide the names or descriptions of any possible suspects, they did point out the fact that Terrence was slowly transitioning into a female, wearing women's clothing as well as wearing makeup, and that he was very active on OnlyFans and Grindr, frequently meeting strangers through these apps. And while they admitted that Terrence was living a high-risk lifestyle, none of the witnesses knew of anyone who had had altercations or grudges against Terrence. With no leads, detectives set out next to obtain any surveillance footage in the area. In their review, they found a white truck dropping off a man near Terrence's residence. The detectives put out an alert for that truck, which was identified and pulled over two days later. When questioned about the homicide two days prior, the owner of the vehicle revealed that he had recently been giving rides to a man that he knew only as Slimy. However, he knew nothing about any homicide until earlier that morning. You see, that morning, Slimy came to the driver's house bragging about a homicide he had just committed. He even pulled up a news article about the murder. Immediately after, Slimy asked the driver to keep the murder weapon. The driver refused. However, he told police that just before they pulled over his truck, he had received a call from Slimy. Hey man, don't be mad at me, but I left the gun at your house. I put it under your nightstand. The driver was unable to provide Slimy's contact information or whereabouts. However, the name was enough. Detectives searched through Terrence's phone and found a Tinder conversation with the name Slimy. The conversation between Slimy and Terrence included an argument about pictures, a possible motive for the murder. On the night of the murder, Terrence sent three pictures of him and Slimy nude in bed together. What the fuck, bruh? Why you still got them? Idea chat me and I delete everything. Be by yourself. Nigga, what the fuck, bruh? Deleted all that shit, bro. For real. Are you trying me, bro? What the fuck? Video chat me can't talk about it here. I'll expakai. Okay, since it's like that, watch and see. Fuck being nice. I'm done. Bro, I'd never do you like that. Shit's crazy. All I'm asking is for help this one time. Bro, I'm desperate, and I can make some money if you help me and if you do. I swear to God on my life, I'll let you delete everything and get us pussy. I'm on my way. I gotta put Addy in now. It's just you and your friend who dropping you off, right? Not like four people? Yes. Fifty-four mins. I'ma just get dropped of. I bought us a fifty. When you get here, we will smoke so we both get high as fuck. And once we high, we going to start looking up the straight porn. Cause I don't want to waste time. Or have you act like you forgot? Plus, I want you to record me on my phone watching it from my Twitter. You be outside. Police recognized Slimy from the pictures for two reasons. The first being, well, who can forget a face like this? And the second being that this man is a recently released prisoner. Legal name, Benjamin Page. And the fact that he is a recently released prisoner means that he left his residential address with the police upon leaving prison. Unfortunately, the police were unable to find him at that address, 
That was his mom's address, and his mom didn't know where Benjamin was either. However, from viewing Slimy's Facebook page pictures, detectives were able to identify his recent residence. The police went there, found Slimy, and brought him in for questioning. All right, I'm Brian. I'm an investigator from the sheriff's office. Um, I just want to make sure I get all your uh, information correct first. Um, do, you, do you have ID on you by any chance? Okay. And first name is Benjamin, correct? Do you have a middle name? Well, and the last name? Page. P A I G E. Yeah. And which which is the residence? Is that where you're living at right now? What's the address for that? Eighteen. That's uh, Fort Charlotte. Yeah. And a uh, phone number for you. Sample. Did you get a new number or something? No. I don't know my number either. I don't know how to go. And uh, what's your date of birth? 10 one, two, Okay. Um, basically, we kind of had a long morning this morning. I know you were taken aback by it. Um, but I'm looking into uh, an incident that I've been investigating. Okay. And I think you might have some information. But here, here's the thing, since you're, obviously, you're not free to leave, correct? We're at the police know. station, I'd have to escort you out if you're going to leave. Um, I have to read you your Miranda card before I can talk to you. Okay, I don't know, have you ever had your rights read to you before? Okay, so if you have any questions, go ahead and, uh, and ask me. Um, but you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be used against you in court. You have the right to talk to a lawyer for advice before he asks you any questions and to have him with you during questioning. If you cannot afford a lawyer, one will be appointed for you before you question you if you wish. If you decide to answer questions without a lawyer present, you will still have the right to stop answering at any time. You also have the right to stop answering any time until you talk to a lawyer. Do uh, you understand all of these rights? Yes? Yes. Sir. Would you like to talk to me today? I don't really know why I'm here. Well, that's what we're going to go over, so. Um, I don't know if you want to discuss that with me then. Yeah, I would like to know why I'm here. Okay. Yeah, uh, do me a favor, raise your right hand. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yes, sir. Okay, you understand as a deputy sheriff, I can take your sworn testimony? Yes, sir. Put your hand down. All right, so I understand that you're pretty big on social media. Uh, you have a lot of followers, I guess. What What is your, uh, well, I mean, compared to some of these people that have <laughs> thousands of them, three and a half million, I guess. Um, I'm pretty popular on Snapchat, right? Yeah, somewhat. Do you interact with your followers a lot? Like, if you if I posted a video and commented on it, would you get a lot of comments on it? Mm -hmm. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe like, like maybe somewhere around like maybe ten comments. If the, yeah, that's if that's a good video. Maybe a couple people will ask if anything. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm not real familiar with Snapchat. That's a little past my generation there. Um, what is it? One of those where it disappears after a certain amount of time, or what? Um, um, to be honest, not so even save. No. Mm -hmm. So once you view it, does it disappear then, or? Yeah. What about the comments? Can you still pull those up? At no. Once you look at it, it just it gives you like five. Three to like five seconds to look at it, and then it disappears. Mm -hmm. Then it's gone forever, like you can't go back later on the yeah, day. Yeah, I can't look at it. Is it the same for Instagram, or is that kind of up all the time? That um, I mean, yeah, the activities are there until you delete them, I guess. Mm -hmm. Is it like is it each picture have its own comments, like on Facebook? Because that's kind of more yeah. my thing. That's yeah. what I grew up with was was using Facebook. Mm -hmm. So on in Instagram and Snapchat, obviously, are two separate. Um, two separate apps, right? Yeah. Okay. What, um, say I wanted to look up your Instagram. What username do you have for that? It's, um, too slimy. It's the same thing as my, all my other social media. Too slimy. You still use the same one for every? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's, that's kind of what I do then, so. 
And how is it Instagram? Is that something recently that you had, or is that kind of a what have you had longer, the Snapchat or the uh, Facebook? Well, Facebook's been out forever. Mm -hmm. You have uh, used your real name on Facebook, or is that? No, I don't. I just use my nickname. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you can. Yeah. Do you? Uh, it's all through the phone, right? Like it's not like a, you go outside on a computer. You yeah, you can. Phone you, can you can use computer if you want. Uh huh. Do you have your phone with you now, or is that back at the house? Um, I don't know what they use with all my stuff. To be honest. Can you uh on Snapchat is it just pictures, or can you post videos as well? You can post videos, pictures, anything. I think like the pictures, videos. I guess yeah. What uh is there any type of theme that you usually do or? Mm, no, I usually. The only time I really like post snap videos is when I'm like making fun of people or people mm -hmm. making fun. Those, those are my favorite. That yeah, that or listening to music and everybody hanging out just mm -hmm. for memories. I guess. You do selfies a lot too. Right? Yeah. What about you ever use TikTok? Mm -hmm. I tried it, but I don't like it. Oh, that's like my new favorite one. I don't pull stuff on all the videos. videos got it, yeah. I, I know, but the videos are, are pretty funny, some of the stuff these people come up with. But. Yeah. Can you post videos on Instagram too, or is that? Yeah, you can, you can go live, like you're recording yourself while everybody's watching you and stuff like that. You get a big audience for that? Not really. I don't really have that much of an audience. I mean, I have maybe a couple hundred friends on each social media, but that's about it. Well, you seem like a pretty interesting guy, though. Right? Yeah. Uh, why is my hair though? Like, I don't know what's going on. Well, that's that's what I'm trying to figure out. So we're just, you know, one thing at a time there. Um, I'm just trying to think of what, you know, just get a little bit of background on you first. Because I've had, I've had, obviously never met you before. You, you don't know me, right? No. How long have you lived in uh, Fort Charlotte for? Is that? Since I was like 13. 13? You know a lot of people mostly in Fort Charlotte, or where did you live before that? Arcadia. Okay. So most people you know are from Fort Charlotte. Really, I don't even know that many people in Arcadia. And I went to prison, so mm -hmm. I don't really know too many people in Fort Charlotte anymore either. Yeah. A lot of the people I talk to on social media are random too. Like, mm -hmm. I get a lot of random. You ever meet up with them or? I mean, I've met up with some. Like I say, yeah, this person's pretty interesting. Yeah, like, oh, come through and smoke. We might smoke together. About it, really. So it's more like the same interest type thing. Yeah. So like I say, all right, I start messaging you, hey, what are you into? Mm -hmm. uh, things like that. You want to meet up? So forth? Yeah. I guess more or less than saying it that way. Mm -hmm. Are they mostly local or do you travel? Yeah, I mean, mm -hmm. the, all my, I don't have no way of traveling. I don't have no, I don't have my own transportation. Mm -hmm. But like if people want to meet up, they either got to come to me or Hopefully they're in the same city. Mm -hmm. You get picked up like they say, hey, get a ride, I'll give you some gas money or something? Yeah, sometimes. Like if I need a ride, I might be able to find somebody. A lot of people be playing around and stuff. Sometimes they'll give me a ride, yeah. You ever take the bus? No. Or Uber? I've been in an Uber, but I've never personally like ordered an Uber. Yeah. Because yeah. it's all, that's all app based as well, I guess. Mm -hmm. uh, what? That's the same thing, isn't it? I don't know. I think that's how many companies got now. Yeah, I don't know. To be honest, if we ever get a ride, it's usually somebody else is getting a ride or giving me a ride. Mm -hmm. I'm not real familiar with the uh, with the area. This is actually the first time I've been here. Mm -hmm. and, and, and where your house is? Mm -hmm. Is that close to a main road, or you got to go quite a bit out to uh, mm -hmm. get to like 41? Oh, 41. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's not that far, I don't think. To be honest, if we went back to my house now, I couldn't tell you how to get there. Yeah. I, I don't really know how to get nowhere because mm -hmm. I'm fresh out, so everything's like new to me. Are you working anywhere right now? No. Did you Did you do anything for uh, what was your work before you went to? Um, I didn't work before I went to prison. Uh, I went at a young age, at 18. I just got out. I'm 22 now. When did you get out? January 18th. Okay. Everything going good since you? Yeah, I've been doing actually really good. I mean, I had a little setback. I 
I was with the wrong people a long time. I got caught with a THC pen and it's petty. I mean, I didn't, but I've been doing really good though. I haven't had no trouble or anything. That's why I'm like, oh, why am I here? Yeah. Yeah. Have you been mostly staying at home all the time or? Yeah, I stay home a lot. I mean, I might stay at a friend's house maybe for a night or two or something, but usually I'm home all day, smoke flats all day and mm -hmm. stay home. Did you only stay home during the weekends too? But yeah, like there's nothing to really do. Everybody's closed at mm -hmm. all the yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'll go out hang out with friends. Yeah, but other than that, no. You're not in like the bars or anything like that. Oh, I can't wait for those to open. <laughs> <laughs> me neither. You and me both. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, very nice. So, like, say on average, um, are you are you looking for work on an average day or what? Um, what do you, what do you, I've asked around here and there, but I can't say every day or every other day. I have been make, okay, well, there's this thing with this construction thing. I, I just talked to them yesterday, actually, or no, this morning I messaged him about it, but they said they didn't need no more people, but that's the last time I looked. Is that what you do with construction? No, I don't really do anything. I've never had a job, to be honest. I just was looking for something, so I could, like, start doing something. So you're actively looking at it? Yeah. Did, did, how far did you make it in school? Did you graduate? No. Um, I went to, well, they got me completed as in 10th grade. 10th grade? Yeah. Okay. Did you, uh, well, like say for instance this past weekend, what would be your, like what I do? What is it, hang out, smoke, and yeah, hang out with my dogs. And what kind of dogs? Yeah, smoke weed, and that's it. Um, well, I mean, I don't know what to label them as, I guess. They're kind of weird. <laughs> They're kind of, well, like the people I've been hanging out with lately are, it's like a new crowd. They're kind of lame. Where do you know them from? Uh, around here. Really through, I guess you could say, other friends, but I mean, I don't really know. I really haven't hung out with that many people. I've only hung out with a few. Mm -hmm. Do uh, do they come over to your house or do you go over to their house or? Either whatever? one. Either one. Sometimes I have friends come over, but I'll complain sometimes. So I try not to have too many people at house. Is that who you live with, his mom? Yeah. Anybody else lives there? Oh, um, my, her husband, his son, and my sister, yeah. Which, uh, do you have your own bedroom there? Oh, uh, no. I share a room. Share your room? With your sister? Or? No, with my stepbrother. Stepbrother. And obviously, there's not going to be any firearms at the house. No. Okay. Hang on. I, I'm just saying, because I don't like surprises, you know. Yeah, no. Uh, do you ever hang out with people in other um, towns? Like, I mean, we were going. We went to Tampa, Sarasota for clubs and stuff. Well, they were open. Huh? Yeah, uh, Fort Myers, Emerald City, and Fort Charlotte, Fort Floyd, Fort Charlotte, whatever. Yeah. Um, I mean, all college campus, like the parties they be throwing in the dorms. Mm -hmm. That. I mean, that's really it. We just hang out, like. We just smoke all day. That's all we do. Really mm -hmm. smoke all day. Is, is there anybody that tends to gravitate you more, towards you more than others that you spend more time with? That well, to be honest, I spend a lot of time at home because I'm fresh out. So I like, I don't know, it's something you miss when you're going. Mm -hmm. Your family and home. Well, were you close by when you were in? Were you at Charlotte? No, I was at Sumter CI in Lake City, correct. Oh, so that's pretty far away, yeah. Yeah. Um, so this past weekend, were you home all weekend, or? Um, I stayed at my friend boy's house yesterday. Or no, last night I stayed at my house. The night before that, and before that, I think, I was at my homeboy's house. Where's that at? In, uh, I mean, Pond Park. Yeah, Pond Park. Seven Palms. Yeah. Seven Palms. Yeah. 
I'm not familiar with that area. Is that off of 41 or what? It's like right down the road by the high school. Is it close to here though? Yeah. Okay. What What's your friend's name there that your homeboy's name? Oh, I mean, I mean, it's who I, I mean, it doesn't matter. Who I, it's just one of my friends, yeah. Um, what about, so do you normally stay there or is that something that, like, yeah, like, I, what, like hey, you want to just want to hang out or whatever, you end up staying there the night that? He's like one of my friends, I just, if, even if he's not home, I can go to his house and walk in and go lay on the couch and mm -hmm. get by and we'll watch TV. Like, he like, wouldn't like, come home and be all pissed off. Whoa, who's in my house or anything? Yeah. So that was the last two nights? So today is uh, Wednesday. Yeah, Wednesday. Yeah. Um, I'm pretty sure, yeah. Okay, and then what about uh, Saturday? What's today? Today's Wednesday. Saturday. Uh, what? Saturday. I, I don't know. I know one of those days on the weekend, I was supposed to go hang out with a friend in Fort Myers, but they left me stranded again the second time. The second time? Yeah, for the second time. So I stopped talking to that person. I don't know exactly what day that was. Which person was that? Was that uh, your old boy at uh, Seven Palms? No, no, that was in Fort Myers. Oh, who was the friend in Fort Myers? To be honest to you, like, it's crazy. Yeah, it's supposed to be your friend, but I don't even know his name like that. Like, no? No, I don't. I, I met him at, like, one of them clubs or little party scenes or whatever, and we were smoking, get coke, whatever. Hung out, and that was it. Just that one time, or was there other times? No, we hung out. We hung out at a hotel. This is why I said he left me stranded the first time. No. He left me because we were all at a hotel. Me, him, and some two females that he knew, but I don't know them. We hung out. Mm -hmm. Then um, they had to go somewhere, so he's like, "We'll be back," and he left with them. So he ended up leaving me there. The, it was like an hour before the place closed. I lived way out here. I didn't have no way back. Yeah. So I had to call my friend to come get me, and then, um, I'm not sure what day it was, to be honest, but like a couple of days ago, or maybe, yeah, maybe like a couple of days ago or something, he hits me up to hang out again, and then he flagged out on me, left, like, he tells me to go somewhere, and then we go there, he's not there, he's not answering, and then, yeah, I don't know. So. Was that through the Snapchat thing? No, through um, uh, Instagram. Instagram? Yeah. All right. Um, what was the hotel? Was that here? The hotel. Yeah. No, that was in that was in Fort Myers. That's the first time he left me stranded. Oh, okay. The second time he he gave me um a place to show up at, but like it just like I kept blowing his phone up. He told me to hold on, he'd be outside in a minute. I kept blowing his phone up, he didn't answer, so I'm like, all right, I'm just gonna leave. And when was that? That was like, I don't know, that was like sometime this weekend, maybe, I guess, or mm -hmm. before that. I don't know exactly what day it was. Did you actually go to meet him and then they, they blew you off, or? Yeah, like I went to go meet him, and then like I kept texting him and messaging him, and he wasn't come. Like coming outside, he wasn't like answering the phone or anything. So I'm like, all right. I'm like, and plus, I just got a ride from some random person I don't even know. And I'm like, bro, I don't have I don't have a job, so I don't have money to be giving people free rides and stuff. So right. You left me stranded. This is the second time you did this, whatever. So I just stopped messing with that person. Yeah, so that was this past weekend, and you're like, screw it up. Yeah. Who gave you a ride there? To be honest, I don't even know who. Like, so it's random. It's <laughs> weird. It's weird, but like, yeah, it's random. I don't know. What kind of car was it? Do you remember? Um, it was like, like a, maybe a, I don't know cars like that. Maybe a Honda. What color was it? Maybe like it was dark. It was, it was dark outside. It was yeah. late. It was late. It was. Like maybe uh I don't know like a dark green, dark purple maybe.
take me out on it. Was it one of those where you're like, all right, I'm driving there. And what, what time is it? Was it in the middle of the night or afternoon? Maybe we left around like 11 something. And what time did you get there at? Maybe 11 something or I don't know. To be honest with you, I don't. I'm not good with times like that. To be honest. Yeah. How did you How did you find the place? Right. Are you, Are you familiar with? Yeah. The person The person had GPS in the car. Oh. Okay. Yeah. And so the person driving. Um. But you don't know who it was though. That. Mm -mm. No, I got a random ride. Like. Uh, it's easy to get those, I guess. Yeah. But he was supposed to pay the person. I gave the person like twenty dollars to give me a ride. He was supposed to give the person like another twenty dollars. That was my last bit of my money, and I'm like, you just let me spend it. Like, screw this, I'm not dealing with it. Yeah. So he, luckily, the dude took me back. He's like, I'll take you back uh, next time. Or whatever. He was some kind of like that. He's going like whatever. He dropped me off. So I left. Where did he drop you off at? At the farm. Okay. At your own white place? Yeah. And then do you remember speaking of this person again because they... Yeah, because he left me stranded twice. First at a hotel that I was going to get kicked out of. Did you did you have to pay for it? The hotel? Yeah. No, I had to end up walking. I walked for like maybe four to five minutes to an hour from the hotel toward Port Charlotte and calling people as I was walking. And finally, one of my homeboys like answered and came and gave me a ride. Where was the hotel at? Was that... Um, I think it's called, hold on, hold on, um, I want to say it's not Quality Inn or Suites or something. Not I'm, Western Inn? I'm not sure, to be honest. Oh, Western Inn? That sounds Best, like Best Western? It might, maybe, I don't know, it sounds something like that. I don't know. We were supposed I don't know. He, I don't know. I don't remember. He left me stranded there though. When was it? Was this this past weekend? No, no. This was like, this was over a month ago, over two months ago maybe. I'm not sure to be honest on this one. Oh, okay. Yeah, because I think the the best question was was the room. Um, I didn't get the ride this weekend to the hotel. You didn't go to a hotel? No. Uh, with the house. Yeah. Did you actually show up at the house or? Yeah, we um we we um pulled up. At first, we went to the wrong house, and like he gave us, I don't know, like I guess the address that the dude put in. It was like we were like three four mile, miles away, and then he's like, "You're not here." And then I'm like, "I'm on my way." So we came, showed up, and then he's not answering like my messages or anything. Like, so we're finna leave this and that year. You left me stranded again, you know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. we just left after that. Did you go up and knock on the door? No, I didn't get out at all. I just was on my phone. Were you? Were you were, and plus, you, I don't trust four lines. Four lines is like. No, I don't either. Yeah, no. <laughs> um, so you, were you in the passenger seat or driver's seat? Though? Passenger. Was there anybody else in the car with you? No, I just boom. I don't know that dude's name. Whatever his name is. That was driving me, yeah. Was that one of the guys from your uh, Snapchat that drove you? No. Mm -hmm. It's just, okay, my homeboy, well, I'm not going to mention his name, obviously, but he sells drugs or whatever, so he's like, I got a baser who would pay you this and that, but I don't know the baser's name or nothing. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Is he a younger guy, older guy? No, he's older. Older guy? What about the one that drove you? He's old. Like, my age older, older than me, but oh, like he's older probably, than you, or no, nah, like he's not, like he's not old, but he's not like he's not young. He's like around my age. He's not no kid. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not no kid or nothing. So you're what twenty two? Twenty two? Yeah. So I'd say early twenties. Or was it his car? You know, or to be honest, I don't know. It doesn't matter as long as you got full wheels and like. As long as you get an engine, wherever I need to go. <laughs> Uh, or where did you, you say you went when he, when he blew you off? Um, like, with, well, both times. The first time was at a hotel. Did you have to walk? <laughs> was the hotel in Fort Myers or something? Yeah, the first the first time, both both times I had to go to Fort Myers. But I don't know the areas like that because I'm not from Fort Myers. But, um, yeah, he had 
The first time I was at a hotel, the second time I showed up to some house, but nobody answered. What was the house, uh, was it like in a neighborhood or were they spread out or how was the... The houses were kind of close, I guess. I mean, I don't know. I, mean, I didn't really pay that much of mind to it and it was dark out. Yeah. But it was, they weren't that far apart, I guess. Was there any other cars in the driveway or like they were having a party maybe? That... Um, no, there was definitely wasn't no party or nothing. No? No, definitely no party. No. Um, I don't know, to be honest. Like, I don't know. Or paying attention? No, not really. Was the street, what, was it pretty long or what was the... Well, it was kind of dark, so it looked like the street just kept going forever. And to be honest, that's how all of them were, because it's so dark. Now, what did the guy that, yeah, as you mentioned, kid, what, what did the guy that was uh, driving say when he went down there, said, oh, let's, he's blowing me off, let's go back. What did he say? Yeah, he's like... At first, he kind of seemed like he wanted to leave me there, but he's uh, like a baser and probably scared, like, by how I look, which I'm not a bad person, you know what I'm saying? Just, no, I would think we'll just show it off by how you look. So he's like, you know, like, all right, man, where well, you got to go because I'm taking you where you got to go to drop you off. I got to go, I got to go get you. And I'm like, all right, man, I'm just going to that. Have you talked to him since? Mm -hmm. I don't even know him. No. Mm -hmm. Have you ever been to his house? Or has he ever been to your house? Or? I mean, he he pulled he came to my house to pick me up. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But like, I never called him or anything because my friend like took me. Like he called my friend called him and told him like, oh, go here, mm -hmm. and pick my homeboy up and give him a ride, and I'll take care of you or whatever because that's how he he be getting rides or stuff like that. So nah, I don't know, I don't even know him or anything like that. Mm -hmm. So it's one of those like you know. I'll take care of you, then you take care of him, and it's kind of a. Does everybody get along pretty well? Yeah. Yeah, it ain't no problems with nobody. Like, I mean, I don't really. I try to stay away from problems. Yeah. Because I just got out. And, Obviously. Yeah. Yeah, but other than that, no, we just be hanging out. I'm not sure you probably learned a, a few life lessons there that. You know, the straight and narrow, maybe, but. Oh, yeah, prison definitely teaches you, like. Yeah. How long were you there for? Well, almost for five. Five years? Almost, yeah. Okay. And you, you have any problems that, that that one? THC pen, and, and they charged me with that, and loiter, or prowling or prowling loitering, or whatever it's called. Yeah. But, like, all that stuff should get beat, though, because, like, they pulled us, like, over, they found drugs in a car that wasn't mine, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And it's not my car, it's just somebody else's, so I don't know why they, like, me with all that stuff, but they did find the THC pen in my little, I have a little backpack I carry right here. Yeah. They did find the THC pen in there, which I told them it was mine, you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to lie. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. I mean, every time I've encountered with officers, like, I told them the truth. Well, maybe when I was a kid, I lied a couple times, but like, growing up, like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? But like, Officers and like the judges, like they know, like I'm pretty like honest and talk to them, you know what I'm saying. But other than that, like I told them it was mine, but mm -hmm. yeah, that's what it is. So for that, that's that all that stuff should get thrown out, though, except for what I admitted to. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's not like it's you know, heroin or yeah, it's, or it's, not, it's, it's a pet, it's petty, it's only a dab and THC. Have you tried to get a prescription for it? Or? No, I haven't. Uh, I've been meaning to, which I need to, but I don't know. Yeah. It's just easier not to go through the hassle then, is it? I mean, I, I mean, it's easy to get them. All my friends are getting there. Well, I don't really have friends, but like people that I always see on social media, they always be like, oh, got my weed card, get the pictures and this and that, or a medical card. I'm like, damn, I need to get my It's only 100 bucks, which I should have been got it, but mm -hmm. I've been paying a lawyer and still owe a little bit of court costs and stuff. Nothing out you. I'll brand you, so. No. All right. Well, I appreciate your honesty there. <laughs> yeah. Um, do you, one of your guys that you, uh, I guess, recently hang out, do you know someone named Austin or uh, Ashton? Yeah, I know. Which, which 
one Tim. Is that that your homeboy at the Seven Oaks or Seven Palms? No, no. Um, he's staying in Northport. Have you ever been to his house? Yeah, I've been to his house before. When was the last time you were at his house? Mm, maybe, maybe a week ago. Not even a week ago. Yeah. Somewhere around there. Does he live by himself or? Oh, um, when I went there, he was by himself. But I think he said his mom lives with him. But that's it. Did you see his mom? No, I never seen one of his family. I only been to his house once, and I stayed the night. So, oh, and what was it? I don't know. To be honest, maybe a week. So not even a week ago. And was he one of them that you you met on the uh, Instagram? Um. Yeah, yeah, I met him on Instagram. Yeah. So you guys would he would he comment on your? Your videos or, or posts or something like that. Oh. Uh, well, no, I seen a picture of him one day on there, and I messaged him, and I'm like, um, I'm like, hey, bro, cause like I was trying when I first got out, I ain't gonna lie, I was trying to do the whole little scam and fraud thing that mm -hmm. everybody does nowadays you know what i'm saying yeah but it doesn't work well i mean it works for some people i can't get it to work so i just stopped messing with it and then um but that's how i met him because i seen um a url like a web page on his website and i clicked on it it was like a dark web website or something so i'm like i messaged him and then we just started talking and that was it what was he trying or what what was he trying to sell or something that no he wasn't trying to sell nothing like um it was just like stuff online like 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 if you find certain websites you can find websites that sell people's information and stuff like that mm -hmm. like that's it that's all he had on there that it was just a url web page like hosted like if you click on it it'll take you to this weird website that's like black market website type mm -hmm. thing but that's it though when we hung out smoke hung out with his homeboys smoke that's about it was uh was Seth, was there a Seth, a guy named Seth? Yeah. Uh, to be honest, I don't know none of his friends, but that name sounds familiar. We might have hung out with him, but other than that, I don't know none of his friends like that. He's got, I think he's got kind of the same hair color you do, the taller guy. Maybe it's my color. I think it's your, maybe a little bit lighter. I, I don't. I'm not I sure, to be honest. I know we hung out with like these three kids one time they all had like dark hair though like dark brown and black and then we hung out with one kid that's like that's why i said is are you sure my color hair but we hung out with a kid that was like bright orange hair it might have been more of an orange taller guy yeah maybe a little bit taller than me but that's about it did austin uh, i don't know why i keep calling him uh, i look i keep looking at your name ashton did uh did he ever show you that he had a um a firearm that was stolen? Did he ever mention anything about that or post any videos that Um yeah, he had I mean he had a firearm in his um like I took a snap with him and stuff. Uh -huh. But like at first when he first picked me up the first time, I'm like, bro, you ain't got no drugs or guns in here, right? Like Because you can't be around Yeah, that. I can't be around that shit. And then he's like, um he's like, nah, he's like he's like, nah. And then his homeboy shows us this big ass rifle, but it's a it was a pellet gun. Mm -hmm. So then he pulls out this another one. It looks like a sniper rifle, kind of, and it was a pellet gun. And then they started pulling out these little handguns and stuff. So I'm thinking it's all like beat pellet guns, cause that that's a pellet gun, that's a pellet gun. You send me, so I'm like, mm -hmm. whatever. So my, those might be pellet guns. I didn't think about asking or nothing. What I mean, I know what a real gun looks like, yeah. but like, I mean, I didn't grab none of the firearms he had or anything, no, no. if he did have a real one, which, but yeah, he probably, he probably did have a real one though, like, cause they had a lot of like handguns and stuff, but like, all the big rifles and stuff he had, yeah. like in the corners and stuff, they were fake, so okay. that's what I figured, like, oh, these are fake, and I grabbed one of them, but the one that I grabbed, I know, was a pellet gun for real because you gotta like pull it back and stick the BB in there. So yeah. I, I know it was fake, but I don't know if he actually like had a real one in his possession though. 
did, did he ever post videos of him or uh, Snapchat with, no. excuse me, him with firearms, like yeah. real guns? Yeah. Handguns or? Um, well, I know one, like if you look like on Instagram, there's one in, I don't know what it is, to be honest, it looks like it maybe a 223 or something like that. Mm -hmm. It's a rifle look or maybe an AR. But yeah, stuff like that, yeah. Do you know what his uh, Instagram is off the top of your head? But I don't, to be honest. I know they call him like Kilo. Kilo. Yeah. And what did you say yours was? That you use for him? Uh, it's too slimy underscore Ben. Any letters or numbers after that? Yeah, um, two five eight underscore bang one eight seven. Is your uh, your Snapchat public? Um, I wanted to watch some of your. Yeah, yeah, I, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can go on my Snap right now and look at my video. I don't have, I'm not allowed to have oh. a work phone there, so oh, okay. get me in trouble. <laughs> um, does uh, what kind of car does Ashton drive? can't tell you. I don't know. No. I don't know. I mean, you can probably pull it up and just look, you know what I'm saying? I don't know, to be honest. Yeah. I'm not really familiar. You're not, like, you're not a car guy? No. I was when I was young, but like, grew out of it. Like, yeah. And then you, you think the Seth guy has the orange hair? Yeah, I think so, if I'm not mistaken, yeah. All right. Um, so just go back to your, your Fort Myers trip there. Mm -hmm. Um, you don't know what, what type of car it was? I don't know to be exact. I mean, like, I don't know to be exact. But why, I mean, we haven't, like, you haven't told me what, like, why I'm on hair still. All right. Well, um, just a couple of things I just wanted to clear up. I figured that out. That's why I'm talking to you today. And, and you've been, uh, you've been more than cooperative with me. Mm -hmm. So can I get you water or anything like that? Or? I'll take a water. But... Oh, all right. What uh, what I wanted to take a look at. Okay, was this the uh, was this the house that you guys went to? Does that look familiar to you? I, I know the pictures are kind of. I can't really like see the house though. Like I don't know. It doesn't. Does that look familiar to the car that? I don't know. It's not a good picture of the house, to be honest. Like, I don't know. You remember which uh, which exit you got off from 75? Or... I know. I'm not good with no directions, addresses, or anything. Was it in Was it in your uh, the GPS of your phone or in the car? Um, of oh, the car of the person. He had like a little phone mount. Like next to the stand where where he puts his phone at. Yeah. Yeah. Was so was it in his phone or? It was just his phone. Yeah. Was there a GPS unit in the car? Mm, I don't know what that is. No, like to say there's like a oh a screen oh. there and you type it in and. Oh no no it was his phone he was using GPS on his phone, but his phone was like connected to the dashboard. Okay. But you don't know who this guy was that drove you there that. <laughs> And uh, what, what was the guy's name that you were supposed to meet in uh, Fort Myers? To be honest, that's what I said earlier. I'm like, I don't know. We're supposed to be friends, but yeah, yeah, I think. I don't know. I, every time I see him, I'm like T or TT or T or something like that because his Facebook name is, I don't know, not Facebook, his Instagram name is weird. It starts with a T, so that's what I've always called him, like T or I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Well, I don't know how to say it, but I don't even know his real name. Do, do you uh, do you ever call these people, or do you just do messages, or? Oh, so well, like you're talking about random people. Yeah. Yeah, like oh, well, actually the ones that you meet up with. Like, oh yeah, yeah, but I mean I don't meet up with nobody just like out of nowhere. You know what I'm saying? I mean, well, I might talk to somebody on the phone for a couple of days, video chat them, mm -hmm. 
So I actually know that's the real person too, you know what I'm saying? We'll be your chat. Call, talk on the phone, whatever. Did you ever uh, call the person that you were supposed to meet in Fort Myers on the phone? No, we just was messaging each other on Instagram. That's it. When you were over at Austin's, how long was the last time you said you were over there? Um, maybe not even a week ago. I'm not sure exactly what day, to be honest. Was there some sort of conversation that you had on the phone, actually talking on the phone? Uh, was it something about some pictures or something, or what? Uh... Yeah, um, we, I mean, we talked about, like, posting pictures of guns and stuff, like, mm -hmm. take that shit off of your social media, because you're not supposed to have not, no guns like Who, that. Who was posting pictures of the guns? Um, well, a lot of people do, but, I mean, he was posting pictures, but I'm like, don't post. No, but like, say you, you were at his house and you were talking on the phone to somebody else besides him. Just something about where, um, something about some pictures or something that. Uh, I wasn't talking to nobody on, at his house, like, on, on the phone, you know, not off his phone. No, on your phone. I mean, to be honest, I don't know. I've talked, like, talking to people with their phone. Yeah, so I don't know why people, I'm not sure. But was, it, was there something, because he. You know, normally you're a pretty reserved guy. You seem to be. Was there something that got you upset about posting some pictures, or no? To be honest, like I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I talked like a thousand times a day on the phone with people. I don't know, like exactly what conversation or anything. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Like I don't know. What What do you would it been some, excuse me, would it have been something to do with your Snapchat or? I mean, what uh, what is like the it, question exactly you're asking? Like, well, it said something about that you were upset about some pictures posted, so I'm trying to figure out if that was an Instagram picture or Snapchat or. Oh no no. Somebody was using your. I didn't say anything about being mad about posting pictures. I was just like, don't post. I was just telling him like, don't post pictures with guns and stuff because like you're not supposed to have them. So why? Would you post it? Mm -hmm. That's how I got messed up last time going to prison. With pictures of guns? Yeah, on Facebook. Does anybody, um, I guess because you, you made yourself pretty public with your, your pictures and stuff, has anybody tried to use those without your permission? Like copyright infringement or something like that? Like like they take a, a snap, a uh, screenshot of it and then mess with it or anything? Oh, no, I had one incident with that kid in Fort Myers though, like, I mean, we, uh, have pictures, like, okay, I don't know if you know what OnlyFans is, it's mm -hmm. like a sex page, but like, um, I mean, he had some pictures that I didn't want him to have, you know what I'm saying, and I'm like, delete them, delete them, he wouldn't delete them, he kept trying to bribe me to, like, do stuff for him, or he was gonna, like, post my pictures or something, and then a couple times in, in our messages, I told him, I'm like, you can post them, bro, I don't care what the fuck, like, we were snapping on each other back and forth, kind of, whatever. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. So then, and that was the person I was supposed to go meet up with, so then, um, he's like, uh, he's like, bro, all I want you to do is come hang out with me and this female, we'll run a threesome, this and that, so I'm like, all right, whatever. It was pretty good, huh? Yeah, so I'm like, whatever. Like I'll delete them. And I'll let you delete them. Um, I'll let you delete everything yourself. And I'm like, all right, that's fine with me. Then it don't matter. Plus the threesome and the thumbs up, whatever. Mm -hmm. And then that's when I went there, and he just never was showing up. Like like coming outside, he wouldn't come outside. I don't know why he was ignoring me or nothing. Were you gonna talk to him about the pictures at all? Is that was that part of your? Yeah, yeah, like, we are going to hang out with whatever female, he sent me a picture, we were supposed to hang out with whatever female was there, and then do our little threesome or whatever, and he was going to let me get his phone himself and delete it, but he never, like, like, came outside, so I couldn't, like, delete pictures, I couldn't get no phone or anything, like, you know, yeah. he never came outside. What were the, the, 
What, the, the, that he hack into your, what, the fa only fan? What's the name of it? Only fan. Only fan. Did he, like, hack into your, uh, no. your thing, or how did he get these pictures? That... They're, we took the videos together and, like, sent them to each other and, like, because, like, only the fans is, like, you do, like, stuff that people like, you know what I'm saying? So, like, female might want to watch you and another guy mm -hmm. play with each other. Like, not each other, but, like, yourself, but next to each other, you know what I'm saying? So, we would make videos like that and send it to females and stuff. Or we would do it in front of, like, females and they would, like, pay money, you know what I'm saying? I mean... Would they, like, text or they, they type and say, all right, we'll do this, do that, and then you read the text and... Yeah, like, some people send you message requests, but, like, me, I haven't really, like, we were using his his account because, like, my account wasn't, is brand new, like, I've only posted one picture on there. We haven't posted nothing at all on there, but that's it, though. So he recorded the videos that you made and then... Yeah. We both recorded them, really. I don't remember if it was on my phone or his. Was, was he trying to get anything like extort you for this or say hey you better pay this amount of money and no it's not like pay pay this like he would like i found out he was like gay but so but i didn't know that you know what i'm saying so like he wanted me to do shit with him like that i'm not gonna do i'm not gay like okay yeah we did sit sitting next to each other for like the camera and stuff but that's like Henry for entertainment you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. But I'm not doing nothing with you and shit like that. You feel me? But that's about it. Mm -hmm. what, what, where was this at when you made the video? Hotel. Yeah, that was the first time. Yeah, the first time. Was there anybody else there with you? Um, yeah, the two homegirls he had, but I don't know them or anything. Mm -hmm. And have you uh, tried to talk to the, uh, the person since uh, since he blew you off? Yeah, I blew I blew his phone up like I can't believe I told him that, like I can't believe you did this to me again for the second time. You know what I'm saying? I messaged him and stuff, but then I blocked him after that because I blocked him a few times before that because he kept playing games and I'm like I blocked you and I got no time for this, this and that. So then I unblocked him and I'm like whatever. Um, as long well we could do this whole three something, bro. I'm not with the gay stuff. That's just out the window. But we can like. Go ahead and have the threesome and this and that if you want. And, but you gotta delete those videos and shit. Like you were supposed to then delete them because I didn't want him to have like a leeway on me or something to use or something like. Some sort of leverage that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So that was it though. Like, and then I mean, I don't know that I don't I don't know like I don't know why he like left me stranded. Like I don't know why he didn't answer. Like I don't know like. I messaged him a couple times, like, a lot. Mm -hmm. And then I just blocked him after that. Because I blocked him before, like, because he kept playing games and, oh, I'm going to post this, post that. I'm like, whatever, I don't care. Post it, do whatever you're going to do. And then he was, like, on some, I don't want to say suicidal shit, but it kind of said, oh, I'm just going to go out and post everything on, on my social media. And I'm just going to go out, you know, this and that. And I'm like, what are you talking about? Like, he was... I don't own some weird shit, and then that was it. Like I just blocked him the last time, though. And haven't messaged him since. Why would he do that to you, particularly? Did he make videos with anybody else? I don't know to be honest. I'm not sure. So why did he specifically target you for the? Maybe he thought maybe he liked me. Maybe he thought I was gonna help him. I don't know. Did he ever post any of the pictures? You know, anybody else got he said he posted them on his Twitter, but I told him he could post them on his Twitter at first, and then like, then he messaged me like maybe a week or a couple days ago or something like that, and it's like, oh, this is when I met up with him or whatever. Not, you know, maybe about like, I don't know, something like, I don't know. I met up with him sometime like maybe around. Like, Go less than that. I don't know something like that. But um, I snapped on him because I thought he. I forgot that I told him he could post them, and I forgot he said that he photocropped the heads out. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. oh, watch yourself. My bad. 
But he said, um, he said, uh, you told me I couldn't, this and that, and uh, whatever, I don't know, it's a bunch of bullshit, but you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I know he posted them on his account, though, his Twitter account, but I don't have Twitter. I don't know nothing about that. So, so you wasn't off the actually? You yeah, I don't know. I had a Twitter, but, like, I don't know my, like, I don't even follow nobody or have no followers on there, I don't think. I don't think so, at least. I'm not sure. I don't really... Even I don't even know the password for it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't use it logging. I don't even have the Twitter app on my phone. Yeah, so I don't know. And where did you meet this guy at? At one of the uh, clubs. Where was it? Was that in Fort Myers or? Yeah, yeah. Um, it was. Um, I don't know. It's like where all the college kids go to. Like, I'm not sure to be honest. It's like where all the college kids go. And was it his idea to make these videos, or was it kind of a mutual thing? Or It was mutual. Have you ever done it before? Mm-hmm. No, I mean, I've created the OnlyFans account, and then, like, people were explaining to me what it was about, so, like, I never, like, really got into it, but I was like, all right, I'm going to experiment with it, why not? Mm-hmm. That was me. What about, um, was he in the drug, did he do any type of drugs that you're aware of? Um, I mean, we smoke. We definitely smoke weed. Um, coke. I mean, we smoked that with the weed. It was inside the weed, though, but that was about it. Other than that, that. No, I don't, I don't do that. I mean, I'm around people who obviously do it, you know what I'm saying? Well, What, was he talking about getting drugs that night or you? Yeah, it? yeah. I told him he better have some drugs <laughs> when I was on the way because usually, like, that's what we'll do. You know what I'm saying? You just smoke a little bit or something. Yeah, smoke, maybe coke. You know what I'm saying? And, um, I said, like, drugs and getting drugs, I guess. Did you ever say anything about having a sugar daddy? He mentioned it. Like, yeah, his messages. He had said message something about a sugar daddy, but he, I don't know. He said like I don't know. Like he said the dude was like acting weird or something like that. Mm-hmm. Or I'm not sure to be honest. I don't know anybody that he associates with. Yeah. None of, none of them at all. And you ever met any of the sugar daddies? Or? No, I didn't meet nobody that no. night. He just left me stranded. And all I'm like, that make no sense. What time did you say you got there at? I didn't say what when I got there. So oh. I don't know exactly when I got there. It was way till. Wasn't yeah, it? It, it, I mean it was probably like eleven something maybe, twelve something maybe. I don't know. Maybe even one something. I don't know. I can't tell you. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. We 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 like every time I go out. Sometimes I'll stay out late night, two three in the morning, four five six maybe, and then come home. Sleep. Sleep all day? Yeah. So you kind of lose track of time. Right? Yeah. Because sometimes, because I might wake up that sleep for an hour or two, wake up and be road running all day, like just hanging out with people, you feel me? Not even road running, because I don't do nothing but tag along with whatever body else got going on. Mm-hmm. And then, yeah, that's it. And stay home all day. So would it be accurate, say, 1 o'clock ish, was when you pulled up there? I can't say no time, but uh, it was it was late. It was late. Yeah. So the uh, I guess cause this was the this was the license plate. Oh, I can read that. So that was around one o'clock there. That. Mm-hmm. Okay. I mean, I know it's kind of uh, dark there, but I mean, I ain't even gonna watch you. I don't even know my mom's license plate. Yeah. No, that was the one of the, the car um, mm-hmm. that you were in. So is he, uh, what was uh, the guy you were talking to about the pictures, what, was it the Hot Boy Tay? Was that one of the names? Hot Boy Tay. Does that sound familiar? To be honest, I don't know, like, Hot Boy Tay? Yeah. I don't know who that is exactly, like, I would have to see like their um, 
maybe they're whatever you got that message from. Hot boy, hot boy K or give me a second here. Yeah. Tavian, Lamar Beauty. He had a picture. Like, I mean, you got all the messages. You should have a picture. Well, I, yeah, it was like video chat stuff. That, but do you remember this conversation from? What What was like one thing I said? All right. So you say uh, fifty-four minutes. Oh, that's yeah. that's his name. Yeah, one of the names is Hot Boy K, and the other one is KB and Lamar Beauty. Oh, that's yeah, that's the um, person I was supposed to go meet, and he left me stranded. Okay, so you, you he says, or I think yeah, you're the you're the blue one. Fifty four minutes. I told you are fifty four minutes away. Let me know when you're in Lehigh. What's with the fifty four minutes thing? Is that is that with the GPS? Oh yeah, the GPS tells you like like minutes, like how far you are from. Did you make it fifty four or less? Oh, yeah. Uh, you know, it's whenever, I mean, you got the messages. It said they should yeah. say when I'm here. Oh, let's see. Oh, you told him I'm just going to get dropped off. Is that? Yeah, at first I was just going to get dropped off because he was like asking the whole funny, like, oh, I want to know what he looks like and this and yeah, that. Yeah, sure. And, so, uh, uh, okay. and, and he was saying, oh, so I had to pay him to let us stay for the night and I'm buying the drugs, but I also tell him to give you the money. So it looks like you ain't coming here for no reason. So it's him. Is that the sugar daddy that you're referring to? That he's referring to? Yeah. I, I, I'm not, I don't know who him was. And is this the... Uh, yeah, that's our picture. Is that the one you're upset about? Yeah. Because he wasn't supposed to have them, you know what I'm saying? But like... And that one's at the hotel? Yeah. And then did you video chat him too? Uh, yeah, yeah, I video chat him. Yeah, this must have been when he sent you the pictures there, because it doesn't obviously show up here. Why? I don't know. It's not about the, the way it printed out, but did he actually sent you the pictures? Is that what? Yeah, yeah, he sent me the pictures. Yeah, that's for like um, the OnlyFans thing and stuff. Are, are, the, are those still up on OnlyFans or are they? To be honest, I'm not even sure. Cause he was supposed to do it himself and make money and then like send me money too, but like I don't know. To be honest, I thought he deleted them. To be honest, but I forgot. He said he, he told me he deleted them, but he still had them in our messages and he found them. Mm -hmm. <sighs> you know, like why didn't you delete those off? Why didn't you? But what is the... Yeah, because according to uh, the messages that you were messaging him, and who, who is, what do you know him as? He, that's he, who I'm that's talking, yeah, talking yeah, to. Yeah, yeah. Um, it looks like you arrived at the residence about 1 o'clock a.m. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then this was the vehicle here that you were in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it looks great, though. I went there. a great vehicle here. Every uh, because of the infrared camera, every vehicle looks. That one like, looks yeah. different, actually. But yeah. Right. So, yeah. Um, at one o'clock, you you pulled up. <laughs> okay. You text. You were texting back and forth. Mm -hmm. There wasn't any other cars in the area, so I'm sure that's the one that that you were in. Yeah. Maybe. Okay. Like, I think, well, there's no doubt. There's nobody else drove by there or anything like that. Obviously, because it's late. Mm-hmm. Um, On the street ones. Yeah. And then Austin or uh, Ashton. Ashton uh, was driving. I don't even know his name. I know this kid. This kid. Mm -hmm. Kind of a taller guy. Skinny oh, guy. Kilo, one of those. And that's the one that lives in North Park. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So he picked you up, right? Yeah. And then he drove you to the Palms? Yeah. I don't. Yeah. He stopped there. Yeah. Uh, and then talked to your homeboy. No, I haven't. No, this was this was this night when before you went to Fort Myers. You stopped there. Uh, at the Palm briefly. It wasn't like you stayed for quite a while. Right? Uh, and then you continued down to... Uh, to be honest, I don't even know if I was at... I know I went to his house. I know I went Ashton to seven. Up? No, seven. Oh, seven. Oh, no, actually, I didn't. Oh, no, I didn't stay at Seven Palms that night. 
I stayed at Ashley's house right. that night or the night before. One of those, I can't remember one of those. Yeah, because you you yeah you, you left your pants there. Yeah. Yeah, because you are those the you're wearing something similar basketball shorts. Yeah, I was wearing um a jacket. What color jacket? It was just a regular black jacket. Um, yeah, because he, he said that you couldn't, I mean, something bought you were trying to buy alcohol, but you didn't have your ID on you. Yeah, and so I was like, yeah, we, um, I, actually, that might be who you're talking about, but I'm not sure. But the, um, redhead kid, yeah, I went to go buy alcohol. Yeah. Uh, if one, because yeah, like, they, they didn't have no ID. So, and he's like, but you look old enough, so they might let you buy it without an ID. Right. And I didn't have an ID either. I still get ID. Yeah, me too. Um, all right, so you went that you couldn't buy the the, the liquor or alcohol or beer. You're trying to buy what? Beer, was it beer? Um, twisted, twisted tea. tea. Twisted tea. Mm -hmm. So you go back to uh, kid, was a kid. What do you call Ashton? I call him either kid or yeah. kilo. One of them. And the work. And he's the one who uh, lives in North Park. Mm -hmm. You hung out there for a little bit, I guess, and that's when he heard you talking on the phone about. When you got upset about the pictures. Uh, he was playing Xbox or something, and yeah, he probably he probably was listening. I don't know. I didn't have him on speaker or anything, so I don't know how he would like know anything. He didn't hear the other end of the conversation. He just heard you talking. Yeah. And like I said, you're a pretty mild mannered guy, but <laughs> um, he said you were getting upset about the something about the pictures. Yeah, so I was, I was mad. trying to clear that up. But yeah, I was mad. I don't. I didn't. I don't know if he knows anything about the pictures, but I was definitely mad about him still having those, you know what I'm saying? He wasn't supposed to have those, but mm -hmm. it is what it is. I was supposed to delete them, and now he didn't answer. He didn't answer, so I didn't know what he had going on, so I just blocked him. So he couldn't, like, add nobody off of my friends list and, like, send it to him or anything, you know what I'm saying? So I just blocked him. Okay. Um, did you try and go back to the liquor store at all that night? For a second, or try a different place. I can't lie to you. I do not know, to be honest. I don't remember. Yeah. I don't remember. Like, did you drink at all that, that night, or? Mm, no, I don't even drink like that. I used to when I was like younger, but yeah, I can't drink like that. And then the the pants that you left at Austin's. Or, <laughs> add that one more time. <laughs> Ashton's. What color were those? Um, they were black and white. Black and white. Is there a reason why you left them there? Or? No. I mean, they were dirty. I mean, but no. I just left them. Because at first I left my jacket and my pants there. And when we went to his friend's house to hang out, we stopped back by his house so he could, like, let his dog out to walk and stuff. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, hey, bro, grab my sweater for me real quick because I was, like, chilly a little bit. I didn't think nothing of my pants, or I would have had to grab my pants, too. Uh, were you wearing shoes, or? Yeah, I was wearing. What kind of shoes were you wearing? Um, I mean, I think they're, like. You have multiple pairs of shoes, or? Not really. Um, bands, I guess, because that's all I have at the house. What color bands were they? Um, what is it? I didn't even know a lot to you. I can't even tell you. I don't know exactly what days I, because some, I really, I rarely wear shoes. What do you normally wear? Bare feet or? No, fly. Oh, okay. Yeah, me too. I, if I'm not at work, I don't wear, wear shoes at all. Right? Um, all right, so. The, the liquor thing didn't work out. You go eventually go back to Austin. Ashton. You go back to Ashton. Yeah. I'm going to cross this out so I don't keep playing that. <laughs> All right. You go back to Ashton. Mm -hmm. um, and eventually it comes up that you get him to drive you to uh, Fort Myers. Mm -hmm. In the Red Bonita? Uh, Yeah, it might have been. Yeah, I, I, I ain't going to lie to you. I can't even tell you. I've seen his car during the daytime and I still can't yeah. tell you like the name of it or the color of it. Like, I don't know. But he was driving, though. Right? Yeah. You you weren't driving? No. Alright, then you you went and stopped at Whole Boys, just maybe briefly, and then I guess his son was there that he hadn't seen in a while or Yeah, and I hung out there for a little while. Um was, was Kilo with you? I'll, I'll call him. Yeah. 
call him after. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, yeah, he was with me. Um, How long were you there for? I don't. I, oh, you're talking about my friend's house? Yeah. Uh, to, well, oh, to yeah, to be honest, I don't even remember if we stopped there, to be honest. I don't, yeah, apparently you stopped there for a little bit. It wasn't like you hung out all night. Yeah, maybe, maybe. You maybe. stopped I don't there, you went in the back, in the bedroom for a little bit, and then he, uh, Kilo talked to uh, your homeboy's son. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not sure what if they did or not. No, so, you didn't see if they were talking or not? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, um, you were there briefly. I don't know how long that would be. Obviously, you know, the time you don't remember it. I can't remember the exact time either, but uh, so you get back in the car and then you drive straight to yeah we were, yeah we were supposed to go to hit him bro but oh my bad sir but he yeah, he stopped he stopped answering and like I don't know yeah. I, I just kept hitting him up and stuff he wouldn't answer did 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 he send you the address to go to or how did you yeah. figure out where yeah he sent me was it a text message or did you talk a FaceTime and said give this address but no, he uh, sent it to me on messages. You got all the messages. I mean, yeah, yeah, it's him, man. Okay. Uh, well, well, what what happened though? Like why? Like why? Well, that's that's what I'm asking you. What happened? I'm trying to figure. Y'all got me here. Y'all got all. Well, yeah. Well, I'm um, I'm asking. Um, I don't know. Yeah. What what happened at the when you got to the house? Okay. Yeah. Nobody answered. Did you did you pull in the driveway immediately, or did you drive past it, or? No, we didn't even. Pull, I, I didn't never pull in the driveway. We pulled it right by, by the mailbox. Mm -hmm. That was it. Then then it backed up in the driveway. No. What was that all about? But... I, mean, I was messaging him the whole time, and he's like, hold on, I'll come outside in a minute. I yeah, gotta yeah. see. I gotta see. Gotta so see I'm it. like, all right. And then I'm like, bro, 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 come outside, come outside. And he wasn't like answering or nothing. So uh... And then what, uh, what happened when to get this right this time. Mm -hmm. What happened when Kilo mm -hmm. or Kid, whatever you um, backed into the driveway? We, we just pulled it like right by the mailbox, but he didn't do nothing. No, he, he, he didn't okay, do he, he backed in. <laughs> see, uh, look at him upside down here. All right, so this is this is uh, Kilo's car. Mm -hmm. Okay, they pulled up the mailboxes over here. Mm -hmm. So it pulled up to the mailbox, and then what happened when it back when he backed into the driveway? I know he like. I can't even tell you, sir. To be honest, like I mean, we pulled right there by the grass, but that's it. Yeah, but he pulled like we drove past it. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'll show him. Sorry, I'll put these pictures away, and I'll show you this. Yeah, it's all right. Okay, there it is, backing into the driveway. This is this is. Mm -hmm. you tell, this is this car here, which is already parked in the driveway. Mm -hmm. All right, so it backs into the driveway. So that car, that, no, we didn't. I don't think so because that car looks like it's on. No, that's just the reflection, the infrared. Oh, because no, we, I don't know. Yeah, so pull the mailbox, like you said, mm -hmm. and then um, the driver backs into the driveway. Mm -hmm. No, I didn't say that we pulled in the driveway. No, but I, I did know. never remember. So, excuse me, I don't even remember to be honest. Like, because I, I remember him first walking up, excuse me, when we like pulled next to the mailbox. Mm -hmm. Like, but, um, like, this dude walked by and then, like, he walked to the end. Like, well, I can't see if it was the end or not, but he walked right by us. So, I, and then that's when I messaged him, uh, be outside, we'll be there in a minute. Mm -hmm. Like, and he's like, He's like, bro, I gotta pee real quick or something. I'm like, right, yeah, bro, bro, bro. yeah. And he's not like coming out. He was, I don't know. Well, who was the but, who was the dude that came out then? No one. Because because when the when the uh, when the Mazda that you and Kilo were in mm -hmm. uh, backed into the driveway, there was somebody who came out of the house. No, that, yeah, that's the person I said that was like walking. Like, well, they came off the porch though. I don't know. All I remember is like looking up real fast because they like scared me, mm -hmm. and they were like walking down the road. I don't know. I don't know to be honest. Like, but what happened though? Like, well, that's what I'm trying to tell you. Right? Yeah. It has to be something serious though. Like, yeah, because the car back into the drive. After it went to the mailbox, like you said. Mm -hmm. Okay, you're texting him. He says he's got a pee. Mm -hmm. um, Kilo backed the car in the driveway. Mm -hmm. 
and somebody came off the porch. Well, I don't know if they came from the porch or not. But, and there, uh, was no, there was only you and Kilo in the car. Yes. Okay, you were in the passenger seat. Mm-hmm. The passenger door opens. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then what happened after that? No, I never, like, got out or opened the door or anything. When I, the door. I just messaged him because he wasn't answering. Well, yeah, you did. You were messaging him. We yeah. the piece. Yeah. Okay, then the, the car back in the driveway. Mm -hmm. Right? Back in the driveway. I don't know. The right. passenger door opens where you were seated. I don't know. Okay. Somebody comes off the porch. I'm, I'm listening to your story. You, you were there, not me. That's what I'm trying to I don't to. know. Like, I don't know. Like, I can't tell you. Like, I don't know. I don't remember, to be honest. I'm Why don't you remember? I'm sorry. Like, I don't know. I'm out every night. Like, I do a lot of running everywhere. I mean, I just wanted to go meet up with this person. They didn't. That was T, right? Yeah, T. And he didn't answer my text back, wasn't coming outside. I mean, you read my part of the messages. Right, but you said he left me stranded again. I mean, right, but um, after he said he was had to pee, because he told you not to come. To the, or he told you not to bring the other guy to the house, right? Or, um, at first he wanted or he like, said, don't, don't, like, don't pull the, like, into the house or something. That, I think he said, yeah, don't pull in or something like that. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. Okay. So, anyways, going back to this, this is this is uh, Kilo backing into the driveway. Yeah. I don't know what, it's not the best picture there, but the, the car did pull to the mailbox, like you said. And then it goes in reverse and backs in in front of this car. Mm -hmm. um, then the passenger seat where you were seated. Okay, the door opens. And T, right? T or Tavon? T I know you, you don't differ. Um, yeah, I only know him as T. Like, I'm listening to what you're saying. He comes out and comes to this side originally, the driver's side. Then he comes back around to this side. So, no, because nobody, nobody came to the car. Well, right? he didn't make it to the car. Well, that's the thing. No. Okay. Nobody came to the car. I don't know. What are you telling me? You're not telling me nothing. He, well, listen, here, here, here's what I think. Okay. I've been talking to you for what? I don't know. Maybe the last, what do you say, hour or so? Maybe. A, I mean, you, you don't seem like a... I don't know what people portray you to be. You know, you're not some monster. You're 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 a personable guy. Yeah, I'm, I'm not like a family man. You can definitely have some people. Yeah. So, here here's what I'm looking at. Mm -hmm. Okay. Here here's what I think happened. Because obviously you you know what I, what I know what I'm telling you. Okay, is is accurate. I don't think I think that you know you were upset about the pictures obviously. So yeah, of course I was upset about. And you were upset that, that, that he that he wasn't gonna wasn't gonna get rid of the pictures that he was gonna extort you. No, he told me I could delete them myself. No, he was saying something about then he, he sent you the three and he's like you you better delete them and he says idea chat me and I delete everything. Mm -hmm. And you said nigga what the WTF rule delete all that shit. Yeah, I mean, yeah, we went back and forth on messages. Now you're trying me, bro. WTF. So I, I don't think you were out to hurt him. Okay? I, I think that that you just got so upset about those pictures that... What do you mean, out to hurt him? Like, did he? Did like, you went there to, to confront T about the pictures of it? Because you said so. You said you were going to go there and talk about it. Yeah, but no, but we, I wasn't going there to talk to him about the pictures. It was to just hang out with whatever girl he sent me a picture of, and he was going to let me delete them myself. Right. But according to Kilo, he said that you got pretty upset on the phone, a couple conversations. Oh, yeah, but that was like before, though. But of course, would get mad too, you know what I'm saying? But like, I calmed down. Like, I wasn't mad. I was aggravated still, but I'm like, 
At least you let me delete them myself now, you know what I'm saying? So I'll be straight. Right, but I think it, on this night that you you didn't you weren't out to hurt them. You just got angry about the pictures. What do you mean? That you shot oh. out in the parking lot or in the driveway. Oh fuck! No, I didn't shoot him. Man, no. You did. no, I didn't. We got witnesses that said you did. All right. Well, your boy. I think your boy ratted it out. You out? Oh, that's crazy. So we got shot. Oh man. Well, you already knew that though. No, I didn't. No, I did not. I really didn't. But <laughs> that's crazy. Oh man. That's wild. But I wasn't, wasn't there. Yes, you were. Oh no. So why would Ashton lie about it then? I don't know what he's talking about. So he's lying? Yeah. Why would he make up something like that? No, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe maybe he did something that I don't know about, but I don't know. <laughs> I there was nobody else in the car, was there? No, like Okay, so it was either you or him that, that shot. Yeah, no, I don't I don't know. Like no 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 no. <laughs> no that's the only option. Nobody shot nobody out of the car I was in. Well, that's the only option though, because there was no other cars there at the time. So know. it was either you or him. Yeah, no. And, well who was it then? I don't know. Maybe somebody he had problems with, like, or he didn't. No, it was, it was it was somebody in Kilo's car, so it was either either you or him. Yeah, I don't know. I can't. You know, no shots were fired out of that vehicle. There was four of them. I don't know. Is there, have you fired a shot within the last few days? Have you fired a gun in the last few days? Mm -hmm. So there's no no gunshot residue is going to show up on a. On my hand? Yes. No, y'all want to swipe? Yes. Yeah, that's fine. Is there going to be any uh, gunshot residue on the, where you were sitting in the car? I don't know. That's tough. That's tough. He's, got, he's had a video, like, out at Yorkshire, Kitty Lake, where everybody goes and shoots guns, and people go out there and shoot guns all the time. So Who was he with there? I don't know his friends like that. They're all younger than me. Was he, was he shooting the guns from the car? Yeah, they were shooting from the car on camera, yeah, but it's like, I mean, they're just leaning against the car, you know what I'm saying? And that's about it. Shooting at. But never shooting out of the car? Targets and stuff. Mm, not that I know of. I mean, I'm not with them 24 7. Is your uh, your DNA or fingerprints going to be on any type of guns? Oh, definitely not. No. Well, why would your. Your homeboy at Seven Palms say that you brought a couple guns over there the last uh, last couple of days wrapped in bandanas. Oh, definitely did not. So, so he's lying too. Yeah, definitely not. If I brought them there, then shouldn't they still be there? Wouldn't you go check? Well, we already did. That's how we know about it. Oh yeah. So why 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 we got two people that are are ratting you out? Did you piss somebody off recently? Or? I think I don't know what they're telling us because I didn't do that. Did you do nothing? No, well, who no. shot from, from the car? I don't know. I mean, this might not even be the same, like... It is the same car, because we got the license plate. I know what I'm saying, though, like... There's no there's no other option, okay? That, that's the car, <clears throat> okay? That's not anybody else's car. There was no other cars in the road. We got the license plate. What happened at the driveway? I can't tell you. I don't know. Well, we know you were there. Okay, it's not. I wasn't. Okay. There wasn't around. nobody around. No shooting. But I, I, I just got off. No, just, just get past that part. Okay, you've been honest with me so far, and I appreciate that. Mm -hmm. Now, I think the problem we're going to have, okay, is that Ashton is telling me one thing. Mm -hmm. Your homeboy was it Ola? What did he go for the guy at Seven Palms? Yeah, that's what we call him. I call him. Yeah. Okay, he's telling us consistent with uh, with Kilo. Mm -hmm. um, I don't see why there's a conspiracy against you. So you're telling me that all these people are going to get up and lie under oath that what what I mean you gotta, you gotta give me something. I what, don't know. What's an explanation for them being out to get you all of a sudden? I don't know. Maybe what what did you do that would piss all these people off? I don't know. I don't know what they're you must have done something, okay? Because people don't just Conspire about all this stuff against one person within a 
Well, there's gotta be something, man. We give me give me something that I don't know, I can't tell you. So when we when we go talk to uh is it Ola out uh, Rebo? Yeah. What is Ola gonna tell us again? When we talk to him again, is he gonna say that I made this up just to screw with you or I mean I can go talk to him probably tell you I don't know nothing. No, he told us everything. So that's why we knew about the guns wrapped in the bandana. Right? Oh, he didn't own the bandana, but I mean that's what I do actually it's American flag bandana. Is your uh is your DNA gonna be on those bandanas or the? No. Like the only thing that has my DNA on it is everything in my room, my bed. That's it. Right, but well, is there any explanation as to why your DNA may show up on those those guns and the bandana? I don't know, but why am I like? Why do y'all have like? So I'm being accused of. Shooting somebody? That's what you're saying, basically. Yeah, I didn't make this stuff up, man. I know, but I... we didn't just pick your name out of a phone book and say, "All right, today I'm gonna mess with ben Benjamin Austin Page." That's crazy. I know it's crazy. That's why I'm trying to get to the bottom of this. But I want to know why your homeboy at the Seven Palms mm -hmm. and Kilo and his buddies would all lie about. This. To be honest, man, I can't tell you. I don't know what you want me to tell you. I just want to know what happened. That's it. I mean, when we drove there, and then come outside, he stopped. I'll send my messages. I'll do his messages up, like you see. And he left. He left when he was dead. What's why? He left when he was dead. Yeah, you know why? Because as soon as, as soon as as soon as the Mazda driven by Kilo, the passenger shot him. They leave and that's it. No, that's not what happened. I don't know what happened. Not that I don't even know if like y'all might not even have the right. Mm -hmm. No, that's the right vehicle because we got the we got the license plate. We got Ashton Kilo telling us what happened. That's definitely the right vehicle, and you were in the passenger seat. I don't know, like. I did not shoot nobody. I did not kill well, who, nobody. Who shot? Nobody yeah. shot no firearm or anything in no vehicle while I was in it. So I'm not sure. So, but you didn't get dropped off anywhere when you were in Fort Myers. No. You never got out of the car. I don't know. I don't know. So what? why are all these people lying about you then? Maybe they did well, something they're trying to pin on me and cover up, then I don't know. Because I wasn't around nobody shooting nothing, like shooting nobody or nothing. But why would they say that, though? That's, the, that's what I'm struggling with. Maybe I did something to make them mad. What know. did you do to make them mad, though? I don't know. What could you have, I mean, what, what could you have possibly done that they could have been this angry that they accused you of something, doing something stupid like that? I don't know. You know, people are. Everybody's mindset's different. Like some people are crazy, some people are maybe they're I don't know. I don't know what the hell. But I don't know. Because I I've never I've never encountered this before where several people conspired to pin it on one person. I don't know. That didn't piss somebody off. I don't know, to be honest. Can't tell you. Because if you don't even know Kilo, why would he go out of his way? Make all this shit up. I don't know. So is that like so that's what I'm being accused of? So that's what I'm am I being charged with that? Yes. Uh, I mean nobody read me my Miranda rights until I got here or told me what I was being arrested for until just now. Well, you, does that clarify things up? Huh? Yeah. Would you be willing to take a polygraph? Yes. You would take a polygraph? Yes, as long as my as long as my I have a lawyer right there with me, know everything he's like for sure, yes. But I want to speak to my before I agree to anything though, so I'm gonna take that back. I'm not gonna say nothing. Before I agree to anything, I would let I'm gonna let my lawyer speak for me though. Okay, so you wanna to talk to a lawyer then? Yes. Okay. Yeah, because I don't know why I would be 
I don't know why either, but you uh you want to water any? No, I'm good. I'm just my lawyer. Okay. All right, man. Well, I'll be back with you in a second, Larry. So I appreciate it. Benjamin Page, a.k.a. Slimy, traded 35 years of his life to cover up his homosexual activities, ironically exposing those very activities in the process.